Hi, welcome to XLab video tutorials. In this video, we will demonstrate the differentiation function derivative f in the XLab add-in. Let's begin by accessing the uh, web, the help page for derivative f. Derivative f takes three required parameters: a reference to the function or formula you want to differentiate, the variable of differentiation, and the point of differentiation. It also takes two additional optional parameters, the order of the derivative. By default, it computes the first order derivative, but you can pass any value from 1 to 4. It can at most compute the fourth order derivative. And also it takes a set of uh, key value pairs for control of the algorithm. Uh, these uh, key value pairs are listed in the help page. Uh, derivative F implements Redder's method which uses an adaptive step to produce a much higher accuracy compared to a simple finite difference rule with a fixed step. Uh, Redder's method uses Neville algorithm and a pol polynomial extrapolation to knock out higher terms in the uh, series expansion of the function to drive the uh, differencing step to zero within machine accuracy. We will uh, demonstrate this through the examples up to a fourth order derivatives. Uh, it's important to uh, note though, however, that uh, uh, the Redder's method is sensitive to uh, the control parameters, in particular the initial step, which doesn't necessarily have to be small. Uh, the default values are sufficient for most problems. In general, if you have any difficulty converging with this algorithm, you may want to uh, change the values for the initial step as well as the tolerance. Let's move on to uh, show an example. I started Excel with the Excel Lab add-in. The function we will demonstrate today is shown here. It's a simple, smooth function. I also show here the first, second, third, and fourth analytical derivatives expressions. And I've also computed these analytical derivatives for x equals 0 and x equals 1 in cells D6 to D9. Uh, for example, in cell D6, you see the formula here, which corresponds to f prime. And it, co it evaluates for the value x1 equals 0. Same thing for f double prime, f triple prime, and the uh, fourth derivative of f. Here I reference x2 instead for the first derivative, the second, and third, and fourth. And x2 is defined as 1, as you can see here. So these are the exact analytical derivatives at x equals 0 and x equals 1. On the uh, left-hand side, we will compute these same derivatives using the numerical differentiation function derivative f. So uh, in cell a6, I write the formula for derivative f, and here I reference a3, which has the definition of my function f of x. As you can see here, a3 has x1 times sine x1 square plus 1. Remember, x1 here is a variable of differentiation. It's a dummy variable. Its, var its content doesn't really matter uh, because x1 corresponds to x here. And uh, here I'm referencing x1 as my variable of differentiation, and I'm differentiating it at the point x equals 0. And as you can see, it computes a very close approximation to 0 within machine precision. This is the same formula for derivative f, but now I'm requesting the second derivative. Um, if you recall here, I did not specify the uh, optional argument because by default it computes a first derivative. I could also say 1, although it's unnecessary and it will compute the same answer. Here I uh, specify the second third, and fourth. Uh, these compare very well to the analytical values within machine precision, of course. I have computed the same numerical derivatives here, but for, for x equal 1, the only change here is uh, the value have changed from 0 to 1, the point of differentiation. And again, as you can see for the second, third, and fourth, uh, these numerical derivatives agree almost to 8 or 9 decimal places with the analytical exact derivatives, thanks to the accuracy of the derivative f differentiation algorithm. This concludes this tutorial for differentiation. In the next tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to use derivative f to compute uh, uh, multiple derivatives of a surface. Thank you for watching.